Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, so today I just have some just some thoughts to share about why I appreciate this practice so much and how we can bring it once again into our everyday lives, which is where you know we spend the most time and that's why we do something like yoga is that so it can help us really um, prepare ourselves for life's challenges and also just um, how to be in the world and how to have a deeper relationship, mind-body connection, and really cultivate um, more connected awareness in all of the things that we do from our day-to-day -day movements, how we sit, stand, walk, um, being mindful in a way that helps us stay um, in the game a bit, if you will. So it's, you know, the, the mindfulness of something as simple as remembering to pick up your credit card when you pay your tab at a local restaurant or, uh, you know, the simple day-to-day -day things that can, you know, get us into trouble, like leaving your purse on the roof of the car or, you know, just a, a mindfulness in general. And so I think about these things because anything that can save me um, difficulty uh, in this life, I'm like, yeah, sign me up. Uh, so one of the things I've been thinking about lately is just, of course, the overall health of the planet. And so uh, we've all been hearing, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, and then wash them some more and use hand sanitizer and so forth. So that's such a good lesson for us in general is just to be, uh, you know, washing and washing and washing our hands, right? The other is don't touch your face. <laughs> So this is my um, my home challenge for you guys is I want you to see how many times a day you touch your face. And if you start noticing how many times, it's kind of crazy when you start just paying attention. And so it's the same thing as like when you're when you're learning this yoga practice, it's like, okay, how do I posture instead of locking my joints out or letting my hips slide forward? Uh, you know, my head drop, you know, it's a whole repatterning is the idea. And so we become more mindful of just our overall movements. And, and, and that helps us just again, and look, I just touched my face. <laughs> so just try it and see what I mean. So, um, so being more mindful of what we're doing and how we're doing it. So it's been a real uh, good practice for me because I watched this video, this educational video that really just brought some light on what's happening in the world right now and um, how to stay protected, how to stay, um, you know, um, just just being able to deal with what we have going on. And so the biggest advice that I took away was, OK, wash your hands, don't touch your face. But it's so crazy to see how embedded that is even you know down here it's so hot so you're always sweating and you know and you get like dust and everything all over you and, and so it's just common to be like touching your face and um, we all do it and it's just it's just something that we need to become more aware of so I um, I give you that challenge right now to stop touching your face um, and especially when you're out and about and you happen to touch a door handle or um, exchange money at the supermarket or whatever it is that you know we're all out and about doing that we have to do right now because so many of us are, are quarantined and we don't really have that much exposure to other humans or should be limiting that uh, but we have our things that we have to get out and do so I just um, advise you uh, like I'm trying right now to to try this practice of obsessive hand washing and don't touch your face <laughs> so <laughs> that's the food for thought for today and let's see if we can all do a little bit better um with that thanks guys so much everyone be well out there and i hope everybody's having a great day thank you don't touch your face